All right, and welcome to the least efficient, most expensive way to build engine mounts that I've possibly came up with. But here we are. I have some factory Envoy mounts. Brand new rubber, should be nice. And then uh, the expensive, inefficient part has been buying the individual chunks of metal. So I got these on eBay, bought them in like five inch sections, and then this piece individually. So these were kind of expensive for what they were, but should work good for what I want. So. The plan here is to take this piece and then I'm going to cut it all the way across at this corner and then cut it all the way across down here and then I'm going to be left with two angled pieces, right? And those angled pieces I want to use to hang over the top of this thing right here. So I'll have a piece that hangs on the top and then the rest of it is going to hang down to here and then I'll have a surface to weld to. That piece will also be welded to the vehicle. I thought about using the bolt holes back here, uh, but the mounting point is actually going to be like way far forward of the bolt holes. So I'm just going to build a new section. So this section here is 5 inch, it's 3 16 thick. I did have this little guy here, but I wanted to go a little bit thicker just for something to weld to. And then the plan for this guy is I'm probably only going to use like half of it or something, but I bought it long enough so I can cut what I need out of it. My plan is to have this mounted up on the end of this like this, 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 cut it down at an angle, something like that. So I'll have this piece welded onto the car and then this will come up at an angle like this and then it'll be a little bracket that I can actually mount the top of the motor mount to and then this one will go in here, something like this. So I think I can pretty much come out horizontal with that bottom piece and then I'll have the other mount there and I think it should work out okay. So I'm gonna get going on cutting that first piece that I'm gonna hang over the ends and position the engine and figure out where I need to put it. Gonna get a safety violation. Alrighty, we'll just been humdingering along a little bit here and got some mounts kind of mocked up, tacked in. They're not tacked to the car yet, but the two pieces are tacked together, so essentially have the one piece hanging down there and then the rest of the bracket coming out. Same thing over on this side. So, little hanger, bracket coming out, and then the factory mount, and then bolt it into the top factory mount. So, I think that'll work pretty decent. I did mark out with some marker around where the spots are supposed to be. That one I just marked it right in the dirt that's all the way around it so I know where I can clean it so I can weld that in there. So the idea is that this whole piece here is going to be welded right on and then I'll be able to unbolt the rubber mount. Well, there's the mounts in there, all welded up. So it did have some gaps kind of around there, so I did use the MIG welder to weld the gaps. I did test fit it, like before I welded everything in place, I tack welded it and then test fit it at first, then fully welded it. 
Now what I'm going to do is put it back in, actually hang the weight on the mounts, and then I'll start to mock up for the transmission mount. Alrighty boys, we got a Bulbo with a 4200 in it. Engine mount's looking okay. Passenger side looks like. But the funny part is, the transmission is just resting on the factory transmission mount. It's unreal how close it fits. So I did come down a little bit with the weight on it, but I'm still going to have to bring it, bring the front down a little more. So check this out. This is the factory transmission cross member bolted into one of the factory locations. So this is the spot it was originally in, but it has like one, two, three sets of mounts. So I just moved it back to there. They are all threaded holes. And that one hole in the middle is kind of where the factory hole was. But then you have these little mounting tabs sticking off the back side there. And look at where that hole is lined up. It's almost perfect. And that's where the other one is on the other side. So really close. So I just have it resting on there right now. This is a shot kind of from the rear section. So it is kind of pretty close to the center. And then if I move the trans, I do have enough room in the tunnel. But I'm, I don't know, I might space the cross member down a little bit because uh, I have to get like a rubber mount or something inside there. I can't just hard mount it because it has rubber mounts in the front. So I'll figure something out for that. It's not going to be very exciting because there's not going to be much modification there. So I might just leave it out and we'll consider it mounted. But this car is extremely annoying to work on because listen to this. Uh, like hanging over the side like working on stuff it's so squeaky makes so much noise oh man but yeah I think I'm gonna end it here consider it mounted and everything looks pretty good and the engine is like not even over the top of the fenders and I did measure the oil pan line to the K member and I got about three and three quarters inches which if I mark three and three quarter on the oil pan, I should be able to clear that section. So it'll be really close. All right, so I did a little modification to this thing. Um, and then I cut the middle section out and then I ended up modifying it, twisting it so uh, I could run a GM mount and then bolt this thing through there. And I just couldn't bring myself to use this thing. Uh, you know, two years ago I would have used that for sure. I would have ran it, but what I'm going to do now is actually take these pieces for the mount, I'll block this off, and then I'll actually connect them in the middle and then run a bolt through with a GM mount. So real simple, I'll just patch that up and then run a piece across. And then what do you think we do next for this thing? Start building turbo manifold? That might make sense. That might be fun. Turbo manifold and intake? 